Hey there. Henry and I are just coming out to the swamp here. We're putting out the trail cameras. <laughs> Here's my old marker here. It's been hanging here for about six years now. It helps me. I usually try and sneak out here because uh, many times there's, not many, um, there are times when there's moose out here. I just saw some moose poop back here. Oh, Henry's thirsty, he's in the swamp. And I'm just coming out to the swamp here. Isn't this beautiful? Um, you've seen countless pictures in the middle of the night from right in here. Just a great place. Look at, you can see a path going through here. The moose have been through here and bears. And this is the turf with a big 650 pounder black bear hangs. I'm sorry, I'm swatting mosquitoes as I'm going here. I'm being a little quieter than norm. I don't know what's back here. I haven't been back here for a while. Hey Henry, how's it going buddy? Lots of butterflies back here, which is really nice. I wore my rubbers. this wasn't so overgrown, I'd bring Stewie back, because Stewie would let me know if anything was around. Very wet. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be going up to my knees here shortly, I'm sure, even though this is a dried out swamp, for the most part, you can see the dead trees out there. They died basically because they got too much moisture, because of the beaver dams, and the beaver dams are farther back here, and it would block everything up and then fill up with fill up this little area with water and trees would get too much much moisture and perish. Anyway. Let's keep going, bud. You know, the growth this year has just been amazing. Uh, we've been getting rain at the right time and you know, I used to be able to photograph all around this tree. Now look at the firs that have grown up at the base. This is amazing. You know, when it's got proper conditions like the right heat, the amount of sun and uh, the rain, it's amazing. Puppy. Come on, Buffal. I must admit, I'm a little nervous about having Mama Moose in the vicinity with a youngster. I guess I would make it a Mama Moose, right? Um, I get asked constantly, what's the most dangerous animal in the forest? It's a moose. Forget your wolves, forget your bears, forget your fishers. It's Mama Moose, it's, well, actually, 
bull moose in rut. Wow. Don't go there. That is, uh, that's one scary deal. Find a big tree. Really big. Anyway. We're on our way out. Bulls and two cows. They're making a three-day trip. Every three days, almost like clockwork. You know, usually two o'clock in the afternoon. They were back here where I set up the first trail camera. Um, it, it's absolutely bizarre. And I had a, uh, when I had the original Kelsey with me, this is, I guess, about four years ago. I had a blind way back there. And hear me thinking, I'm going to outsmart this fella. So Kelsey and I were in the blind. I'm waiting, figuring, okay, three days, he's going to be here at 2 o'clock, both of them. I'm in the blind, but 1.30, I got to go pee. So does Kelsey. So <laughs> I unzip the blind door, the flap step out, and who walks right behind us was this big, big boy. You want to talk about shitting bricks? Holy moly. And uh, Kelsey was smart enough, like, hey, I am not going to bark. I, this is not a good time to bark. So he says, Jim, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. The big guy walked right, right past us in between these dead trees. Seen, uh, Kelsey and I get back into the blind and, <laughs> and that was it. That was spectacular. And Kelsey was wagging his tail figure, oh, ho, ho, ho. I dodged that one, didn't I, Jim? Yeah. So I'm hoping I'm going to get pictures of uh, this girl. It's a little early for the, bo for the uh, bulls. Um, I would think another month the bulls are going to be back here. Haven't caught them on the trail cameras yet. Um, so anyway, but there was two, two uh, cows and two bulls for the last couple of years. And the bulls were going together. The cows were going together. I don't, I, I'm hoping the GoPro picks up these colors. The blues and the yellows. Oh, it's spectacular. And this is where, right here, is where the original Kelsey and I came out. But the night before, I had my, when I had my blind set up back there, um, I saw something move through the bush, and it wasn't a deer. And I, to this day, I thought it was a cougar. And well, here we are with the bed down. Henry saying, oh, what was this, Dad? There's probably a couple more back here. He's sniffing away, he's thinking, okay. What was that back here? And, um... Anyways, I saw some tracks, I photographed them and sent them down to some people down in Colorado. Um, then the next day, Kelsey and I came out and he stood right here, right here. And I actually, I have a picture of it on my site. Beautiful, first snowfall, he just disappears into the grass. And getting a drink of water. And Kelsey just stood right here and he was looking up in the trees. Didn't think much of it. I go get my trail cameras, come back, and in the fresh snow, there was these cat-like tracks in our tracks. They weren't there previous. So, take it as you will. I have no proof. I don't have a picture yet, but I'm working on it. But I think definitely it was a cougar. And two other times I've been chased out of the bush from an area that's literally uh, probably about three, four, five kilometers away from here. So a cougar, my understanding is from research, can take up to 200 square kilometers in a territory. So it's totally within reason that this was what it was. So, oh, this thick grass is a pain, isn't it? But I know, I'm coming, I'm following you, buddy. Just don't go out there, it's a little... And I hate getting so close to the, the edge of the woods right here.
Oof. And it's getting hot. Anyway, we'll continue. Oh, we're just coming out of the swamp to the forest now and something just went crashing, crashing through the trees. Don't know what. It's a trail here. You stay with me, Henry. No choice in the matter, gotta go up there. I could circle back through here and it'll probably take me about an extra hour and a half. So the wind is blowing with us, so whatever it was picked up our scent and is gone, hopefully. And sometimes you got to be careful. Sometimes a mama moose can sound like a huff of a bear. Anyway. Damn, I hate getting so close to the edge of the forest. There's no way to defend yourself in time. But I will stop for some berries. Hey, Henry, you want some berries, bud? Hey, Henry, want some? Henry loves his berries. Yeah. Hey, do you want some berries? Where are you? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Well, sort of crazy, but we're heading in the direction of the noise. There's my tag. So when I do night courses, I, bring, I pick up those. Okay, Jim, shut up for a sec. I'll pick up those glow sticks. And I'll throw them down every 10, 20 yards. Okay, buddy. Because if you get turned around here at night, you're done. You're done. You might as well dig a hole, cover yourself with dirt. Because the, if uh, the animals don't get you, the mosquitoes and black flies will. You okay, buddy? That's my boy. All right, there's my tree stand right here in the sunshine. Let's see how we're doing here. Well, not a good idea to one, walk under that fallen bough, is it? There's, there's one of the trail cameras I set up earlier. The big bear den is just back here. What'd you hear? I'm keeping the GoPro going, even though it's uneventful, just in case I don't have time to Turn it on. Oy. You 
You going for water, buddy? Wish I could. Whee. That is getting warm. Doing good? Are you? Yeah, over here. That's a boy. You know your way. That's my boy. Keep going. What are you smelling? Yeah. I think the moose have made not a half bad trail through here. Buddy, is this guy awesome or what? Henry is just awesome. He's turned into a, a very seasoned bush dog, haven't you? Yeah, that's moose tracks. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing down too, bud. Anyways, just another kilometer to go and call it a day. Have a good one.